Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today we're in Martin County. We are going to give you 12 things to do in Martin County. It's a lot of fun, so you stay with us. So let's get right to the 12 things you need to do. How about golfing? There are 28 world-class golf courses in Martin County, and they are no more than 15 minutes apart. Isn't that amazing? There's also driving ranges, plenty of places to shop for golf equipment, and each city in Martin County has at least one golf course. It is great. No matter where you are in Martin County, you will definitely find somewhere that you can golf. And prices range all over the place. Some are public, some are private. But uh, if you love golf, I would definitely say Martin County is definitely a place that you can do that. Now, another great place to go is Indian Riverside Park in Jensen Beach. There is a lot there. Right here you can see, it's not working at this time, but there is a splash pad for kids. There's a beach on the other side. There is a boardwalk that you can walk out and you can fish if you want. And it's also dog friendly. Also there is the Children's Museum. This is a great place to bring your kids. It's just a beautiful park and the museum is very nice. It's a big building and you know, the kids will go in, they'll find something to play around with. Uh, and you could spend the whole day at this park. It's just absolutely gorgeous. In the back of the museum, there's also a garden with areas for the kids to play as well. Now you're done with that. How about the mansion? The mansion is still in Indian Riverside Park, the mansion at Tuckahoe. And it is a beautiful mansion right on the water. Sometimes they hold concerts and other events. You can also tour the mansion. I have done that and it's absolutely gorgeous. You'll have to find out the dates and times because they are always changing. Okay, number three, fishing. If you love fishing, Martin County is a great place to do that. Most of the towns are right on the water or very close to the water. So you'll have a lot of chances to decide where it is you want to fish. You could fish somewhere different, gosh, almost every day. There's just so many places, but eventually you'll find where you want to fish, what type of fish you're looking for, and uh, you can fish. It is just great places. You can catch big fish. You can catch small fish. Sometimes while you're fishing, you may see the dolphins. Don't catch one of those. I've even seen somebody catch a uh, ray, so you want to be careful of the stingrays and not to touch them, but there's some big fish out there, and there's all kinds, and you could take a boat if you want to go deeper into the ocean. You could take a boat, but you know what? You don't even really need a boat you can just fish off the shore and look at the size of that you just never know what you're gonna catch when you are in martin county amazing you like artwork and pretty scenes well head over to hope sound and look at the murals you can get a map at town hall you can look online i'm sure they'll tell you and you can drive around the town and you can look at all the murals on the buildings. Different buildings have, of course, different murals. And they're all over. And it's just a pretty thing to do on a day. You could take a picture. Uh, you could take pictures of all of them. And you could take pictures of one of them. See which one you like best. It's fun for the entire family. Number five on our list is the Florida Oceanographic Society. You go into this building and they will show you a whole bunch of stuff built around the ocean. It's very interesting and you learn a lot. The tanks are great and you get to see a lot of sea life. Some sharks, maybe you can pet the rays. It depends what's open on what days. They have some programs. If you go at a certain time, you can see presentations. Uh, it's a nice place to go. Uh, uh, very fun. The children will love it as well. Just a great place to learn about ocean. You can take a walk around there if you want. There's some walking areas. Uh, very pretty. You can ask questions. Uh, you know, you got to learn about the area if you want to live there and visit. So this is a great spot to go that's 
learning, it only takes maybe one, maybe two hours, depending on if there's a presentation, but uh, that's a good place to go. Number six on our list is Flowing Rocks. Now, this is on the beach. There's also a preserve here, but it's not always open. There's some information outside about some of the stuff that's the preserve, and you can learn about the, some birds and some wildlife, but mostly you're going to take a walk, and you're going to walk to the beach. On the left side is a beautiful beach. On the right side, you will see rocks, and those are the blowing rocks. Those rocks are just beautiful. And if you go on a high tide, the waves will beat against the rocks. They will go up. People love this. And it's a, so pretty. You're going to want to take a lot of pictures and videos. Uh, you know, you can spend the entire day on the beach and just go to the rocks when the high tide is there. Or you can just go then but you will just love this this is uh something special not something you're going to find all over you you really don't see it anywhere else in florida it's an amazing place to go and it's this should definitely be on your list uh, i wouldn't go on a really really hot day if you're just going to walk over there because it's a walk and it's hot but if you're going in the water or you're going in the cooler days, it is definitely pretty. It's something you do not want to miss. Um, it's definitely one of the highlights of Florida, and it's definitely one of the highlights of Martin County. The preserve itself is 73 acres, and the rocks over here are all limestone. There is free parking, but most of the parking is across the street, and there's not a lot of parking, so it's not always easy to get a spot. Now, it's free to go in, but the preserve asks that you donate $2. Uh, there's no one there asking if you want. You can put your money in a little cubicle. Now, next on our list is the Elliott Museum in Stewart. It focuses around local history but there's a lot of history in florida they have a lot of cars if you like cars and bicycles this is definitely somewhere that you have to hit uh, they also have a baseball area which i will show you and they also do have trains they have a whole section where they have different kinds of trains uh, everything here is very old. Uh, it's very unique. It's very different. And sometimes they do have new and different exhibits going on. Another thing they have is a car vending machine. What it does is there's a whole bunch of different cars and it will come like off the rack. You can pick which one you want to see. Here you see it coming down and it'll go and it'll grab it and it'll bring it down so that you can see the car and it'll spin around. It's just great. Now the baseball collection has over 250 autographed items. Some are baseball cards, some are bats, some are balls. There is players like Jackie Robinson, Derek Jeter, and even Babe Ruth. So that is the Elliott Museum. Great place to go. Next on our list is restaurants. You want to go to some of the restaurants in Stewart. Not just because the food is good, but the views are amazing. There are a lot of very good restaurants, and a lot of them will feature seafood. But you can also get items that are not seafood. In this area, grouper is very big. So that's one of the seafoods you'll get. But there is steaks and there is chicken and chops and there is sushi. There's all kinds of excellent food in Martin County. There really is a lot to choose from. And I'm not going to tell you which individual one to go to because everyone has different tastes. I'm just going to tell you, you can go to a different one every night and get a great view and great food. So put restaurants on your list of things that you need to do when you go to Martin County. Number nine on my list is Sailfish Splash Water Park. Now this is in Stewart. Do you love water parks? Well, this one is great. The kids will love it. There is a beautiful lazy river. There is a slide. There is an area where just the little kids can go. They absolutely love that right here. Uh, 
it's a fun place for the entire family. You can rent a cabana. I just like to spend the day sitting on uh, my float and going down the lazy river like this and just enjoying the sun, the water, and Florida in general. So, number 10 is the water. Beaches and boats, anything to do with the water. This is a fantastic thing to do because that's what Barton County is. Sun, fun, and water. You can spend your day, just put a towel down, find one of the many beaches. Jensen Beach is a fantastic beach. There's Stewart Beach, there's Bathtub Beach. But you can just put your towel down, your umbrella, whatever it is, and enjoy the sun. But if you like, you can go on a boat. You can jet ski. You can swim. You can fish. I know I mentioned fishing, but there's just so much to do on the water. There are a number of places which you can rent a boat if you want to rent your own boat or if you want to go parasailing or whatever it is you like to do in the water because, uh, you know, Martin County just has a lot of great activities and you will find no shortage of things to do on the water and places uh, that are there to help you do it. It's just fantastic. And this is definitely, you know, the top thing to do is to do something on the water if you're in Mountain County because it's beautiful. Even if you just want to sit there and look at it, you can't go wrong. And some of them are dog friendly. So next on our list is Jonathan Dickinson State Park. You can spend a day here or you can get a pass, which is what you might want to do because there's a number of different things you could do. First, you might want to go and check out the visitor center. It's not too huge, but it does have some information, and it's a great place to make your first stop. Now, if you like to bike, this is a good place to go bicycling. Um, there are paved and off-road trails. If you want to take a boat tour, you can go on the Loxahatchee Queen pontoon boat for a 90-minute tour. I did that. It's pretty cool. It takes you to an island. Do you like to camp? There is a campground, and there's glamping and camping. It all depends on what you want to do. You can have a cabin if you want. Do you want to go paddling? There is canoeing and kayaking and paddle boarding, and you can use the boat ramp. You want to just swim. There's a grassy swimming beach that is available. There's no lifeguards, and I would be aware of the alligators, so I don't know about that. There's also tours, and there's horseback riding. There's an equestrian area. There's a lot of scenic routes, so great trail rides. Do you just want to look at wildlife? There's many species of wildlife, and there are also tours that you can take if you want to do that. Sometimes a bird tour, and check out the birds. You want to just go hiking. There are a lot of different hiking trails. As you can see, the 1.5 mile trail, there's several. So if hiking is your thing, I would definitely put this one on your list because it has a lot of hiking areas. Now, boat ramp, in case you want to bring your own boat and you want to uh, go on the river, nice place to go. Do you have a mountain bike? There is mountain biking. There's a nine-mile network of mountain-like trails with loops from beginners to experts. So that's pretty good. Now, our last one on our list is House of Refuge. In the past, a lot of ships have crashed or gotten lost. And where did they take the people who were on the ship? Well, they took them to the House of Refuge. This is in Stewart. And they give you a lot of information about the ship's about the history of this area. There are people who will talk to you. You can ask questions. They'll show you different things and uh, tell you something about them. You will definitely learn a lot. You will also get the chance to see some of the rooms that people stayed in. In the rooms, they are decorated as if it was still the 18th and 19th century. Now, it's a beautiful view. And look, at the ocean from there. You can see why people would want to stay here. Here is one of the rooms. Uh, there's a whole number. They go all the way down and they will show you one room to the next room. And you'll even see like the kitchen, uh, rooms that they might have been 
you know, a den. Look at, they listen to music right there. Whatever it is, it's a fun place to go. Uh, it's great for the whole family. Everyone is going to learn something. And, you know, if you're going to stay on Martin County, you want to learn a little bit about the history. Perfect. So this is Rockin' Robin. I hope you enjoyed those 12 places to go in Martin County. I have videos on many of them. So if you need more details, please watch my videos. Also subscribe, hit the bell and give us a big thumbs up because we have a lot more coming up and I don't want you to miss anything. Enjoy your trip to Martin County.